Hello everybody, Tech here. <coughs> so, excuse the mess. We got a vacuum pump from my sister-in-law that I'm testing out right now. And it's pulling 700 millimeters of uh, vacuum. 28, this gauge is a little off. Um, I have my vacuum pump down there set up because this is my uh, welded chamber pump, uh, vacuum chamber I made. But, uh, cool little unit. Got it on Amazon. It's a Zenny. So this, plus the piece of acrylic I'm going to show you, polycarb, uh, cost me about 100 bucks. Anyway, we got this acrylic sheet here. What I like about it, I believe this is cell cast. You can see almost invisible right through it. That's really cool. But this is the inside diameter of the, the Hubber Freight pressure pot that I made her. So what I'm going to do is center it like that. I can cut the excess off later. But I want to take my Sharpie. And I'm going to... Ah, I got a poke some holes through it but anyway I'm gonna put a valve in here eighth inch MPT for regulating how much vacuum goes into the pot the meter to see how much vacuums in there ultimate just because I like having meters on things and then this is gonna be my vacuum in this is gonna be my eighth inch I gotta take plug that or get a coupling something uh, put this on the lathe, got it tapered and everything. That just got this on the lathe, made a taper. Um, cut a piece of quarter inch brass stock I had so that way it can sit up. And that's your quarter inch to hose connection. I'll bring you back in a second. Alright, so all I've done now is just pre drilled a couple of holes. And. This is the 2164ths, which I have these American made drill bits. I like this index. Um, I forgot the name of the manufacturer. Ah, there we go. Hold on. There's the uh, manufacturer. I like this set. I use it for work all the time. And I replace the bits after a few uses for work. Just because this is how I make my money. So, basically, I have to hold it, and I can't do two things at once. So let's see if I can get you set up here. Hopefully I can edit all that craziness out. So, put it in low gear. And for the quarter inch MBT, seven sixteenths. Now that did fracture some of the acrylic. I should be stepping sizes better. Oh, that's okay. Oh, we have a bit of tear out back here. First time doing this, so you know, live and learn. Anyway, we're going to start tapping next. And uh, this is what I got to tap these holes a little quarter inch MBT tap inside a shop main handle. I'm thankful right now this is just plastic and not steel plate like I've done on a lot of other things because that's a bit more of a challenge. 
I know my machinist friends are going to be screaming at me. I could set this up better, absolutely. But it's a nice day out in the gazebo, so. That's where I'm going to leave it for that fit. We, uh, we're out a little bit, so. That should do us. Now this is just uh, primarily for degassing resins, for casting um, long set resins, where you want to get all the gas out of it. And uh, that's what she's going to use it for. Whoops. It's uh quite hot today so now I modified this with this ring this tap with this ring I, uh, I like it set up this way 8th inch pipe tap long reach because that was the one that I grabbed with this and it's cotton through the plastic really nice Set you up on the other side. Let's get this off the work table. So, I think this will be too tight to the board, so that's why I want that extender. We'll put this in first, and what I like to use is some of this mini monster. It's uh, extra, extra expensive, and it's really good. Uh, PTFE with some other stuff. It's, uh, I believe, meets military ATSM standards. And I do a few extra wraps because I really want to keep the vacuum in. And with all threads, it's a spiral leakage path. Probably should champ for that. I'm going to take the tap in, make it a little looser. Don't mind these 18650s. Ah, uh, the gauge just went in the middle of my wire reel here. Yeah, good times.
if you don't have cutouts in your slats, put them there. Because it makes this stuff much easier. Alright. It's going in nice. How about this? Okay. Yeah, that will be extra tight, so that's good. Never turn your gauge by this. Grab the appropriate wrench. And use a wrench. Anyway, I'll bring it back when this is set up. Well, here we go. I changed this off on vacuum gauge. Nice, fine adjust leak. So that way you can control the bubbles while under vacuum. And uh, that's it. I'll show you in use.